Hey, this is Kevin with Kevin's Micro Fleet. Today I've got a Micro Galaxy Squadron review. We're going to be taking a look at the Series 6 Light Armor Class Lieutenant Callahan's E Wing. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the figure, at the vehicle, at the packaging. We'll do some measurements and we'll do a comparison. Let's go ahead and dive into the review. So let's go ahead and start here with the packaging. As you can see uh, here on the side, you've got the Series 6 in two different languages. This was actually from Canada, this was the GameStop release that uh, came out. So fortunately I was able to trade with uh, a friend and I was able to get this thing in hand pretty early. So you can see down here on the bottom, it says Lieutenant Callahan's E-Wing, number 121. And then it shows the show that this came from Ahsoka. You get your figures in there. And then as we spin this around, we get a chance to see the other different features of this vehicle, as well as the blueprint and the other items that come in this uh, specific series. As we go to the bottom here, there is the UPC if you wanted that. I believe this UPC would be the same for um, the international uh, release as well as the one that we get in the States. If it's different, I'll update that in the comments below. Uh, but otherwise, that is that. So let's go ahead and break this thing out of the box. So now that I have this out of the box, here is what the back of the card looks like. Uh, nothing really other than just a, a flying scene there. It does look really cool, I like the color against the actual blue E-Wing that we get. And then here is what the card insert looks like. Again, kind of the same thing if you were going to try to display this uh, using this, that is what it would look like. So now that we have this out of the packaging, let's go ahead and start with the figures. So you've got this little box here that's got Lieutenant Callahan and then KE4N4 as your droid. On the back here, you get the little blueprint as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, now, I've got to say, the, the figure and the droid here are incredible with this set. So with the actual figure itself, as you're looking at this, the one thing that they definitely did on this one, which is different with, than many of the other droids, is they actually painted the dome. And so you can see now the color there and the paneling on the top looks really, really nice. Um, all of the figures that they have paint on them really make the details pop a lot more. And so you can see this one as we turn it around. Got a little bit of yellow on it too. I mean, very impressive. Uh, love the, uh, the eye there as well on the front, the silver. So very cool. This is the same exact mold as... Uh, well, sorry, not the same exact because the eye piece is slightly different, but this is the same type of droid that we're going to get with uh, all of the other astromech droids. And then we have the uh, Lieutenant Callahan um, here. So, uh, and again, the details on the helmet on this figure are amazing. So you can see right there on the visor that the paint didn't quite hit correctly. And so there's a little bit of a smudge on there. The sculpt looks really nice as we turn this thing around. And then if you look at the top of the helmet, I mean, it is amazing. So that there is a little tiny Republic logo you can see right there on either side of the helmet. I mean, that thing is super small. The uh, pinstriping on the helmet looks really incredible as well as the other logo that's on there. I mean, I am very impressed with the quality of the helmets and the detail that they're getting on a figure that's so small. I mean, this thing is tiny. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual uh, E-Wing itself. So for those who were really excited about the Action Fleet E-Wing um, back in the day and had been collecting that, this is totally different than that. Um, it has some of the same types of features to it in terms of what it looks like, but it's wildly different. And you'll see why here in a few minutes when I actually do the comparison. So let's start front to back here. The, um, the deco on this looks really nice. I do really like this blue. Um, you can see there's the landing gear and, uh, you know, you've got the cockpit here as well as we keep moving back. It's got a very light wash on it. To pop the cockpit open, it does have these little tabs on the side, which I have no idea whether or not that's just something that Jazzers put on there to make it easier to open this, or whether or not that's actually on the vehicle itself. Um, but uh, when you pull that up, it does pull up the entire uh, front part of the cockpit, which is nice. 
And so you get a bunch of details on the interior as well as the controls and everything in there, which look really awesome as well. You get your droid port on there. And then as we keep moving around here to the back, you get your uh, thrusters and then you get your laser cannons. On the underside, there's a bunch of great details under here as well. You can see some of that wash on there, as well as you've got your little droid, um, little ejector button there. And then you have your stand. One of the other things that you have here on the underside of this, beyond this one landing gear here that pops out, is you actually have two landing gear here as well. And you can see these tabs that you pull on to be able to pull those landing gear out. So that way, as you set this thing down on the table, at least the, um, the laser cannons are sitting ever so slightly off of the table, which is helpful for making sure that they don't bend. Now, the one thing I will say about this, these uh, laser cannons are very soft. So, I mean, you can see how easy that is for me to um, use that or move that around. If you set this down on the table and you didn't have the landing gear out, you can actually see that the nose pitches down just slightly, which is going to cause those to bend over time. The one great thing about this is when you actually have the landing gear out like that, it actually does get it get the cannons to sit flat or just ever so slightly tilt them up. Um, that way, at least when this is sitting down on the table, it doesn't start bending that uh, laser cannon, which you'll see with another one that I've got here uh, when I review the, the uh, Dark Empire E-Wing, that it's already done a little bit of that, which is kind of a bummer, but um, should be relatively easy to straighten those out, just a little bit of warm water or hair dryer, and then just uh, straighten it out from there. So let's go ahead and pop our figure in here. Um, it's got the little uh, piece in there to be able to put the legs in and then get your droid on there, which looks really, really sweet. So now let's go ahead and do some measurements for this. Um, so front to back, it is five inches. And then side to side, it is about four and a half inches top to bottom if it's sitting there on the table it's about an inch and a half maybe just a yeah probably about an inch and a half so it's cool to see this um compared to some of the other vehicles which we'll see here in a minute but uh again when i saw this in packaging i was surprised at how much smaller it was than i imagined it i thought it would be very close to the x-wing size but uh it really isn't um it is definitely smaller than that and even from the uh, the side view like this, uh, when I originally saw it, it did look like the nose was a bit stubby. And it really doesn't look that bad actually having this in hand. But let's go ahead and compare this to the Action Fleet E-Wing um, from the 90s. And so you can see right away a big difference there in the size. The Action Fleet E-Wing is much, much bigger, um, really side to side and front to back. There's a few other features that the Action Fleet E-Wing has too, which is uh, pretty cool. And then the other thing about this too is the laser cannon. So the laser cannons on the Action Fleet E-Wing are much thinner and longer. They're a little bit firmer as well, not as soft as the Micro Galaxy version. But you know, for what it is, the fact that we have this actually in the Ahsoka show, and this looks very similar to that. I would say I prefer that over the Action Fleet one, although I do like the Action Fleet design a little bit more than this newer version of it. So now if we look at this compared to some of the other vehicles in the Micro Galaxy line, so here it is compared to the A-Wing, another light armor class vehicle, and then compared to our X-Wing. So you can see next to the X-Wing, it actually isn't that bad. I mean, if you looked at the actual, you know, hull part of it, it's about the same size with the engines on there. Obviously, the X-Wing is going to be a little bit longer. And seeing it right next to it as well, it actually does look much closer to the size that uh, I would imagine it to be than initial than initially, because initially I had in my mind that this X-Wing was much bigger, but it's really not that much bigger now that I see it. Either way, this is a fantastic uh, vehicle to have in the line. Super excited that we get the E-Wing and that we get the Dark Empire E-Wing 
as well. There are links in the description to be able to get this off of Amazon. It is a light armor class bundle uh, for series six and hopefully will be coming out here in middle of October. If it's not available to be purchased now, it should pop up here soon. So that's all I have for you here on this review. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to catching everybody on the next one.